Peanuts are the most important grain a fancier can feed his birds. We prefer the raw Spanish peanut because of its small size and uniform shape. However, regular peanuts are just as good, but are larger and odd-shaped and more difficult to eat. Both have the same nutritional value and will produce the same great results in the breeding and racing loft. The raw Spanish peanuts do have a little better taste. To get the best results from peanuts you must feed them whole, with the skin still on the peanut. This ensures that the birds will get the most value from the peanut. Do not buy halved or crushed peanuts. They lose a great part of their nutritional value in this form, and you will not get the same successful results from your birds. How to feed. Give one to four peanuts to each bird when the races are getting longer also you can add one or two in their nest boxes when they return from a loft fly as a treat you can give the peanuts a bash to break them up so the pigeons get used to them only feed peanuts lightly to the pigeons. We prefer the raw Spanish peanut because of its small size and uniform shape. However, regular peanuts are just as good, but might be a little more difficult to eat because of the odd shape and larger size. Both have the same nutritional value and will produce the same great results, with the raw Spanish peanut having a little better taste. You should feed peanuts whole, with the skin still on. This ensures that the birds will get the most value from the food source. When peanuts are halved or crushed, they lose a great deal of their nutritional value. Peanuts should be stored in a cool place, free of dampness or moisture. If properly stored, they will last for up to one year with no problem. Peanuts should be stored in a cool dry place, free of dampness or moisture. If properly stored, they will last for up to one year with no problem. Here in the USA, we buy them in 110 pounds bags direct from the peanut companies. We buy only number one grade, which are fit for humans. This is the very best quality peanut to feed our birds. The cost is about one US dollar per pound. This is one of the best investments a fancier can make to ensure success in breeding and in the racing loft. Why feed peanuts? 1. Peanuts contain the highest oil content, more than sunflower seeds, linseed, hemp seeds and rape seeds. Oil seeds are important for success in long and difficult races. 2. Peanuts have a very high fat content, 47%, necessary for birds that are in difficult races and need extra fat for energy in tough races. If they run out of fat, they start to burn up muscle and return home thin and weak. Fat has a much higher energy value than carbohydrates and proteins, almost two and a half times more energy. Researchers have proven feed high in fat results in improved performance in pigeons. Fat is important as the major fuel for racing in any tough prolonged flight. 3. Peanuts have a protein content of 30%, along with high fat content, 47%. This source of fat protein in peanuts is great feed for young birds and birds in the nest. The nutritional value of peanuts is similar to that of crop milk, which is made up of fat and protein. You should give breeders 1 to 2 pounds of peanuts per 20 pair breeders per day. This will get breeders in great condition and develop strong healthy young for racing. 4. Peanuts have a nutritional value, measured in calories, 2 times greater than corn, wheat and peas. The peanut is the first class fuel for our pigeons. Peanuts exceed other feeds in energy value by 2 to 1, or twice the value. A feeding of peanuts equals in energy value 2 full crops of regular feed. The birds are actually eating for 2 days. If you are comparing it to your car, you would have 2 tanks of gas with peanuts and only 1 tank of gas with normal feed. 5. Pigeons store energy in the form of glycogen in their muscles and liver from the feed they eat. During the race, the glycogen has to be changed into energy, in the same way the engine changes gasoline in your car to energy to move the vehicle. When the glycogen tanks of our birds are empty, they have no more fuel, and our birds are still on the wing, have not reached the loft. They start to burn up their body protein. This means the pigeon has to use up its own body muscles, which causes the bird to lose weight. In very difficult races, they may come home as just feathers and bones, or may never make it home and are lost. Birds that are fed peanuts, 47% fat, instead of the normal feed, 5-10% to fat, low in fat content, can handle the tough races without losing weight or using up their own muscles. They return home in excellent condition to race again the next week in the race series. 6. Peanuts have a protein content of, 30%. Protein is very important in the maintenance and repair of damaged muscles and other tissues. When a bird comes home after a tough race and has lost weight, it is important to repair those damaged muscles as soon as possible. This is why we must feed peanuts as a regular part of the bird's diet during training in the race series. Peanuts will help repair and restore the bird back to normal so it can race next week. 7. Peanuts should be fed every day, a regular part of birds' diets. 
there is a great advantage in feeding plenty of peanuts on the day of basketing or shipping night. This is especially true when birds are kept in shipping crates for 24 to 48 hours before the race. The pigeon with peanuts has enough food for two days. The birds with full crop of peanuts require less water than the birds that have been fed ordinary grain rations. This is important because the birds may not receive the proper amount of water in the shipping crates. Regular grain has to stay a long time in the crop, while soaking up water, to be digested properly, a process that requires a great amount of energy. Peanuts do not need soaking, which means they need little water and leave the crop faster. They are soft, so it takes little energy to digest them. Fanciers who feed peanuts agree that their pigeons are less thirsty, even on hot days. When they return to the loft on the hot, humid days, they are more alert, active and less fatigued. 8. When feeding peanuts, you will never have a trapping problem or lose control of your birds. They love the taste. Birds become tame with no trapping problems and the fancier has complete control of his birds. If the fancier is feeding peanuts to his breeders, then the young birds have already acquired a taste for them. 9. It has already been proven by researchers in the UK that feed high in fat results in an improvement in performance, especially when the feed has been mixed with 5% corn oil. But let us return to the peanut, the first class fuel for our pigeons racing engines. Peanuts are oblong, round nuts, covered with a thin, brown skin. When you remove the skin, the white colored nut separates into two halves. At the feed dealer you can buy peanuts, either whole or in halves. As with other feeds a pigeon is not familiar with, it takes a while for them to get used to peanuts. The best time for the introduction is the winter and generally there are few problems. Even after just a few days the birds are starting to select the peanuts from among the feed, as if they are trying to tell the fancier they have never eaten anything more delicious. Even the most timid bird can be taught to eat from the hand with peanuts. A smart fancier will always have a handful of peanuts in his pocket. Also it seems that peanuts are about the best possible method to get young pigeons back in the loft.